Hey, welcome back. You know, we love the Oscars, but uh, I think we love awkward moments from the Oscars <laughs> yeah. even more. Uh, and there were a few last night. The biggest probably was uh, Jennifer Lawrence right there falling again. This year, she tripped over a cone and almost <laughs> took down the girl in front of her, too. Uh, she later said, quote, I'm not safe. Uh, remember, last year she fell. Yeah. Uh, all right, next up, Jared Leto being, well, Jared Leto. Does anybody want to try it out for size? I would. Here. You. No, you can if anybody wants to fondle. Yeah, here. Jared. Pass it around. But if you have swine flu, please don't touch. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there, but uh, that was during his presser after he won for supporting actor. That's and awesome. last, yeah, I like this every movie. Oscar has won the agonizing moment when something horribly uncomfortable plays out <laughs> on stage. This time it happened during the presentation for Best Animated Short and Best oh Animated God. Feature Film. Check it out. You want to say it? I'd like to try And the Oscar yes. goes to? Oh, are you ready? Frozen. <laughs> yeah, Matthew McConaughey looks super uncomfortable next to the one-time Hitchcock femme fatale, Kim Novak. Well, it's Some a good thing that interesting she introduced Frozen because that face was frozen. True. I'm just throwing that out there. Oh, no. Hey, listen. She's had I surgery. call it like I see yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got okay. you. I learned that from Jessica. All right, well, everyone knows that the Oscars are just as much about the fashion as they are about who took home the golden statue. So let's round down a list of some of the A-listers who, according to our buddies at People Mag, won on the red carpet. Sandra Bullock, first off. All elegance and timeless in Always. a draped sweetheart Alexander McQueen design. That's nice. Um, yes. I think it's really pretty. Yeah. It works for her, everything. She, it yeah. just goes with her personality, with everything. Yeah, yeah and it was kind of different. It was like this, they this said, is her award she's made too, for her. You know? she's, is, she's made for the Oscars. Yes, one. she is. Yeah, uh, also in blue, we had supporting actress nominee Amy Adams, and she wore a peplum that you see mm. behind this Gucci uh, premiere gown, custom made for her. Very pretty uh, as well. Yeah, and peplum kind of seemed to be the trend last night. You saw okay. quite a bit. Um, What's Charlize. peplum again? It's where it's got There's like a, the, like a little skirt, waist. fluffy thing kind of on the waist. waist. Oh yeah, guys hate that. Yeah. Why? Girls it, it, love it. You can't see their butt. Well, it, yeah, it cuts the uh, shape off a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But for this, it works. Yes. Yeah. Girls yeah. love it. Like it. Yes. All right. Stunning and very prego. Carrie Washington yeah. wore Jason Wu. Wow. Yeah. Now you, so great. I know. Now you can't see it in this pic. The bottom of her dress was actually soaked because of all the rain uh, on the red carpet. Got yeah. the red carpet wet, and uh, that material so it showed everything. Oh, she did look adorable. So yeah. She and Chris Hemsworth, and also Olivia, uh, Chris Hemsworth's wife, and Olivia Wilde looked so beautiful Aww. pregnant on the red carpet. Now this is my favorite. Jennifer Lawrence went over the fashion world the last time she wore red at the Oscars. She's done it again with the Dior Haute Couture gown. I love red. Also is that peplum. Is that, that peplum? Is peplum? Yes. It's peplum. Yep. Holy crap! Uh, and you she know, wore the backwards really necklace again yeah. for the second yeah, year nice. in a row. It's a good nice. look for her. Backwards uh, necklace. Yeah. So the necklace drapes down the back. Yeah, I like that. She cool. looks beautiful. I know. I know. She, she looks like phenomenal. Bombshell beautiful. Yes. Now, uh, as she gorgeous as she looks in this Giorgio Armani gown, Kate Blanchett admitted it was actually. Pretty heavy. I liked it. What's I just, it? I, I think what I like it? more color. I like that one. Uh, because of the color of her hair, I wish the dress was another color. Yeah. See, I'm the same way. But it's a, it's a gorgeous gown. Don't get me wrong. She still was beautiful. It looked glamorous. Right. So that's one of those things. Like everything else is really simple. That looked like a. Yeah. A war yeah. Dress. It looked yeah. glamorous, but very but nude and monotone yeah. is kind of the thing of the night. Uh, and just about everyone was waiting to see what the sweetheart of the night, Lupita Nyong'o, would wear. Hello, I don't favorite. think she disappointed in this plunging pastel Prada, which she called Nairobi Blue. Uh, and now let's take a look at some of the She's iffy gorgeous. looks okay. of iffy. the okay, night, the fun right? Part. Yeah, uh, Julia Roberts. What's wrong with not you? sure about this one. I uh, might be trying to do a little too much. She's got the peplum. She's got peplum? the lace. It almost again? looks like yeah, it's, big it's on from her. Givenchy Couture. It looks, I don't know. It doesn't look like it was well fitted. I just, no. It just doesn't work for her body. Uh, and it made her look too old. Uh, yeah. You know, she's still know. very well, pretty and youthful. Old. I'm wearing no. old. No. Now, boys, I'm going to ask you on this one. Pharrell made a splash at the Grammys with his hat that seemed to take on a life of his own. But what about his outfit? Because of all the rain, that makes sense. No pants, no problem, right? It does.